football league. On the return is Brandon Powell. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback in his 13th NFL season now. It's Matthew Stafford. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Now a hit and a loose football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well, and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll try the left side. Mitchell. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five and it brings up third down. Garoppolo checks this one down. It's Mitchell. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep, Brandon Powell. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And some room to maneuver. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole. Blitz coming and down he goes. The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. His throw incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time.
And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Right back to him on first down. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Working with a second and four. Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down, Mitchell. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. From the 35 on second down, Garoppolo. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel, 35 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Rams ready to go on offense. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting up third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And he's going to have a Rams first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. <laughs> there are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. Second down at four. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really stretch your defense. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 
this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. They'll look to run with Akers. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams have taken the lead. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Garoppolo on first down. And it's complete to Mitchell. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And that's dropped underneath to Mitchell. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. There's Garoppolo on first and 10. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. 20! It it happen, and he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. And on that one, with six defensive backs, did he need to be more careful throwing the football? I mean, I guess obviously in hindsight he did, but... <laughs> yeah, hindsight, but even in foresight, when you get six defensive backs on the field, you just know you're going to get multiple coverages. You're never sure what you're going to see. But the biggest one is you don't have much reaction time for your receivers to go get the football because those guys, they're the best cover guys on the field. They go get it. And on that play, they took it the other way for six points. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. They actually take it upon themselves and say, okay, I have to do even more, or I need to play better. Maybe even say, I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. On play action, now Garoppolo. And this is caught, Jennings. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half.
The kick by Gold is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it. In the and now Garoppolo lost the football, and the Rams have got it back. And they came out of the locker trailing. Not a good way to start this second half with their first drive. Can't imagine that the discussion at halftime encompassed this at all. In fact, I'm sure they talked about, okay, kind of wipe the slate clean, start the second half, and let's go out and play the way we know that we can. That's not a great example of it. They didn't envision that. Michelle. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Stafford going to give this to Akers, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Completes it to Samuel. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Garoppolo now, first down throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On 
play action. It's Garoppolo. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. So first and 10 now from the 30. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. To throw again on second down. Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Elijah Mitchell, a five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll go again here with Akers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. A couple of extra defensive bats in the ball game here on third and six. That's going to back him up almost a full 10 yards. It's going to be a loss of nine officially, and it's fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. On first down, Mitchell. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, 
shut it down for two yards or less, that's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Working from the gun, Garoppolo completes it to Jannings. And they work this out past the 25. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. A pair of first downs gives them a first and 10 up at the 44. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. A gain of six there on first. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And now Garoppolo lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Behind the chain, second and 12. On the counter, this is Akers. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers taking it in from the 20. And the Rams have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he has the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. From the 10. Oh, good looking return set up here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Let's just be frank, they're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Drops this underneath, it's Mitchell. And a loose football. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Ready. 
Here's a run with Akers on second down. Stops shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. And now they're in the hurry up. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Forty ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Going right back to Akers. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Stafford will stay out there. He'll lead his guys up to go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Akers. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they could look at on film.